Do you ever get that exciting new iPhone in your hands, peel off the plastic, turn it on for the very first time, and then have to stare at transfer progress bars for hours before you can actually use it? I know I do, and it is the worst. But not anymore, my friends. The iPhone 15 Pro has a trick up its sleeve that let me set up my new iPhone faster than ever before. I'm talking fully loaded and ready to rock in just over two hours. Now that might sound like a long time to you, but when I first set up my iPhone 15 Pro, the process took over 24 hours at first. Now you're probably thinking, how is this even possible? Well, I use a one terabyte iPhone 15 Pro because I have a lot of data. In fact, right now I have 393 gigabytes available, which means I'm using just over 600 gigs of storage on this 15 Pro. So for me, a full wireless iCloud restore takes a full day, unless I am on a fast Wi-Fi connection. Now, of course I was not because I was on hotel Wi-Fi in Cupertino. If you've ever stayed in a hotel, you know what that means. So what sort of black magic am I talking about? In the past, I always did my iPhone restorations in one of two ways. Like I said, either an iCloud restore, which takes like six to eight hours typically when I'm not in a hotel, as it re-downloads all of your apps and data and everything else that you had on your previous phone. Or the direct iPhone to iPhone wireless transfer, which is a little faster at around four to six hours for me, but still I consider that pretty much an all day process. Neither option is quick. There's a lot of sitting around watching progress bars slowly creep along. To switch from my iPhone 14 Pro Max over to the 15 Pro Max, I opted for the iCloud Restore just so I could get things up and running while everything downloaded in the background. And as I said, it took me over 24 hours before everything was actually done restoring because I was at the hotel, I was on the go, I was on 5G, I was on 4G, back on hotel Wi-Fi. Now, of course, at least I could use the phone while things were downloading in the background, but a lot of my apps were missing data until everything was done. Alternatively, I could have went with the faster wireless direct transfer, but in that case, you can't use the phone at all until that transfer is done. So at least with the iCloud Restore, after about 15 minutes, I can go about my business and just let things download as they happen in the background. Now, as you likely have heard by now, Apple has made the switch to USB-C ports on the iPhone 15 devices this year, and the Pro models in particular get super fast connection speeds, and this changes everything. With the fast 10 gigabits per second speeds of USB 3.2 Gen 2, I decided to take the iPhone 15 Pro Max that I already restored and use this to restore it to an iPhone 15 Pro, non-Max. I wanted to see how much faster it would be if I did a direct connection. Now, the first time I did it, I messed up. I was expecting the restore process to instruct me to plug the phones into each other at some point if I wanted, but that never happened. So I went through the wireless direct restore, which took about five and a half hours to complete. Now that was actually faster than normal, and I'm attributing that to the fact that the new models have Wi-Fi 6E, so they can transfer data faster than the older models. But I really wanted to try and see if a wired connection would even work. So I completely erased the iPhone 15 Pro and tried it a second time. Now this time I started by plugging the phones into each other and as you can see, once I got to the transfer screen, it recognized that they were plugged in right in the setup process. From there, I let the magic happen. I set up an iPhone 15 Plus and used it as a timer so that we could see just how long it would take. Now for reference, I would be transferring about 450 gigs or so of data over, not that full 600 gigs because things like your apps, cache data, and duplicate files don't get transferred over, those get downloaded after the fact. But as you can see, my suspicions were correct. I was able to connect my iPhone 15 Pro directly to the iPhone 15 Pro Max with a USB-C to USB-C cable, and the entire transfer process, start to finish, just took two hours and 20 minutes. That's over four times faster than the wireless restore on the older wireless speeds on the 14 and older, and three times faster than using the 15 Pro's Wi-Fi 6E wireless connection. And when it comes to the iCloud restore, this ended up being 12 times faster than what I experienced a couple of weeks ago. Now, again, I know I have way more data on my iPhone than a lot of people, but Apple does sell one terabyte models for a reason, so there are definitely people out there will benefit. But hey, if you only have 80 or 100 gigabytes of data on your iPhone, 
This helps you too. Imagine restoring a backup in just a couple of minutes. Now, why is it so much faster? The key difference is that new USB-C port and its support for USB 3.2 transfer speeds. We're talking up to 10 gigabits per second fast. That's 20 times faster than the old 480 megabits per second max speed of a lightning cable. And again, the iPhone 15 Pro has the new Wi-Fi 6E standard, so wireless file transfers can now hit peak speeds up to two times faster when connecting to other Wi-Fi 6E devices. But still, neither of those can match the blazing fast 10 gigs per second speeds of a direct wired USB-C connection for transferring your photos, videos, apps, and settings to a new iPhone. You'll be able to do this starting next year. The reason I said that is because I imagine most people are not upgrading from an iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max to another iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max like I did here. If you're upgrading from an iPhone 14 or older, you don't have Wi-Fi 6E for that fast wireless connection, and you certainly don't have a 10 gigabit USB-C port either. So for this year's upgrades, when you're restoring from a backup, you're still gonna be going at those slower speeds unless you back up your current phone to a computer and then use a USB-C cable to restore from that backup stored on your computer to your new iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max. This is the future of fast iPhone setups. No more staring at the progress bar all day. Just plug in USB-C and your new iPhone Pro is ready to rock in no time. Thanks for watching as always, guys. I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Webers, and I will catch you in the next video.